welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm here doing a random reading. This reading is for the collective. It is not going to be for all of you, okay? So just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. Don't try to force it into your world. And thank you, everyone. Collective, all of, everything that you guys do is just amazing. Thank you so much for the likes, the subscribes, all the great feedback. You guys are so kind to me here. I love you all so, so much, um, and I'm so grateful to be part of the Soul Tribe, so thank you. Um, okay, yeah, I do have a spread out just to see what's going on. Um, what I'm seeing here is a cycle coming to an end. Uh, all the stuff from the last cycle, um, everything that you've endured, all the lessons you've learned, everything, all of that stuff is coming to an end and a new cycle here is beginning. I feel like it's time collective that you guys get your happiness. I mean, seriously, it's, it's time. It's time that your happiness comes in. I feel like it's your turn now and everything is shifting. Um, everything is starting to turn in your favor here. Um, gone are the days where you've been feeling trapped and stuck, poked and prodded at, okay? Um, yeah, I, I just see you in a bubble trying to get away, trying to get out, and people just prodding at you, poking at you, you know, tormenting you, whatever it is for you, right? Um, those days are over. Those days are over. Look, you're taking a stand for yourself. Does it look like this is a person who's going to allow people to mess with her? <laughs> no. No. You're taking a stand for yourself here. Um, yeah. And you're very strong. You're very strong doing it. Um, yeah, you. I, there's going to be no more of you feeling like this. I think you're just like, I'm done. Closing out a cycle, I'm done with this. I'm also standing up for myself against people who have betrayed me, stabbed me in the back. Um, you know, these somebody out here is watching you too as well. And you're just, be, you're standing strong. You are standing your ground. You could be a Leo um totally doesn't you don't have to be though you could be this is for the collective it's for any sign okay for any sign yeah the wheel of fortune is turning here because you're you're standing your ground against the things that have been done to you against the people who have done these things to you and I feel like they're watching you and you know that all of these people that you're leaving behind in the last cycle right all of these people are people that can't come with you because they betrayed you. They've stabbed you in the back, okay? And they're watching you now move forward. You're out of this bubble. You found a way to get out of it. You're no longer allowing them to poke and prod you all over the place. You're not a pincushion, okay? You're not, and you're standing your ground on that firm. I wouldn't want to mess with this person. Okay, and because of that, that cycle is closing with the world card. Okay, and a new cycle is beginning here with the wheel. And your ten of cups is coming in. This is an ultimate kind of dream life for you because of all that you've been put through. I, I see these swords as other people just putting you down, stabbing you, you know, um, being selfish with you. Uh, stabbing you in the back, doing just cruel things here, and keeping you stuck in that bubble. Not anymore. Now you're released, okay? This is like a mechanism here, um, and a divine number four. Uh, now you're released from this. Stand in your ground, and you're about to have this fabulous new life. Like, this is the kind of life that everybody dreams of having. The wheel of fortune is finally turning in your favor. And the, whoever betrayed you, I feel like it's multiple people. Multiple people did this to you. Whoever, whoever betrayed you, now they have to watch. They have to watch you. And you're standing in your strength, man. You're like, I'm, I'm standing my ground. Um, you have been, see that sword that she's holding there? That's the sword that was stuck in your back. Okay, 
Um, I feel like you were betrayed by more than one per multiple people who would stick this sword in your back and just like leave you there, right? Because you pulled this sword out yourself and you healed on your own. You've been through it, but you healed. You still hang on to that sword though as a souvenir and you know how to use it. I feel like if these people who have sabotaged you and, and betrayed you and, and, and hurt you in the past, if they try to approach you now, they need to come correctly with the whole truth, nothing but the truth, or you're going to cut them out of your world without batting an eyelash. Okay? Soulmate or no soulmate, you're not putting up with it anymore. Yeah, Queen of Coins energy. You're more than worthy of a commitment. You you can hold everything down like a pair of bookends. Um, you're very very financially stable, and you know you need some you need stable people in your life. Okay, you're devoted to your abundance, your family, your home. You need devoted people in your life. Okay. Um. You need people who aren't going to stab you in the back and leave you with the sword. You know, you're responsible. You need responsible people in your life. You're grounded. You need grounded people in your life. And I feel like, you know, the queen of coins here in this energy, you're also very a very busy, busy person. You don't have time for people who are going to play games and torture you. Okay, I feel like you're just done with this kind of energy. And I feel like um, there's people out there, men, and uh, feminine energies and masculine energies that are in regret. But watching you. Okay, what else can you show me? What else can you show me for the collective? You may hear my cat snoring, <laughs> and he's really loud, so yeah, that's Potato, sleeping on the bed, right? All right, what else can you show me here for the collective? That's a lot. Hermit energy, lovers, temperance, I feel like that's you, the temperance angel here. Um, tossing away soulmate connections. Grabbing something that's, you know, that you're passionate about. Um, somebody wants to come in. They want this love. But this is somebody who put you in a really bad way. I feel like you have people that want to come back in. But you're using your discernment. That was just too many. So you're using your discernment, though, because you know what it is that you deserve. And you're not about to let people hurt you anymore. Yeah, I feel like you're walking away. You're you're walking away from from all of these empty cups here. Okay, anybody who didn't give you love, anybody that you put love into, but they didn't give you anything back. All right, I feel like there's multiple people that you're walking away from. Because they just didn't give you all that you deserve. They didn't meet you at your energy end. These are people that left you abandoned and didn't care when they stabbed you in the back. So now you're having a new beginning here. Right? We're back at the world card. Having a new beginning. Look at that. See? That fool is in the middle. You're... you're going after what what's going to make you happy in the world the wheel of fortune's turning in your favor you're the most financially stable queen in the deck who's been betrayed by the people you're leaving behind you're leaving it behind tower you're bringing it all down it's done and you're doing it in faith and i feel like this is what the divine the divine this is kind of like an order <laughs> i feel like it's like you know what these people that you're leaving behind they're going to have their foundation is going to crumble also okay but the divine is like 
It's got to go. These, these foundations need to crumble. Each one of these people, each one of these empty cups was a false foundation. And they're all coming down. And you're bringing it down just by walking away. Just by walking away, walking away and letting it crumble. Let, letting God do what he does. Letting the divine do their thing. That's really what I'm seeing here. While you have a new beginning, it's like you escaped all these tower moments. Whoop, and now you have this beautiful new beginning with the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. Bringing in a beautiful life. Because you're a star. Because you're out here pouring beautiful energy into the world. Okay? And that's who they tortured. <laughs> These people with their towers coming down, the people you're walking away from and leaving in the past, all they did was hurt you when all you did was love. That's all you did. You poured love into everything, every one of these cups. Yeah. And I feel like the divine has elevated you. All right. You could be a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher here out in the public eye. Somehow, you could be posting things. You could have like a podium on the internet. You could be just doing whatever it is you're doing. You're shining like a star. Okay? And other people are seeing you. And you're just brilliant. You're beautiful. You're showing yourself. You're showing your talents. You're, you know, you're doing things for the divine. As far as I'm concerned, you kind of, you, you're working for them. That's the feeling that I'm getting off of this. I'm just going to put it out there. I feel like you're, you're working for them now. And, and having this leap of faith into stardom, a beautiful life, the wheel of fortune in your favor, and so strong. That's, that's the kicker right there. That. Okay, that strength to get out of this situation away from these people using your discernment and knowing your worth and taking a stand for yourself and saying no more, no more of this harsh treatment by these shady people, right? No more. It's time to, it's time. It's time for you to be happy, collective. It's time for you to be happy and get that ton of cups. And it's your turn for the wheel to be turning in your favor because of all the healing energy you put out there. Could be an Aquarius, an Aries. I mean, it, it, the signs really don't matter. You can, it, it, This is for the collective, okay? It's just energy, really. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. And I feel like um, I feel like you, you just surrendered and you're letting the divine take over with the people that you have to leave behind. And, and because of that, you're entering into a new cycle, starting something new, a brand new journey that's going to be uber successful. Anyway, person watching, that's what I've got for this quick reading. Um, I, I hope this helps, and I do hope it resonates with you because it takes great strength to do what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay in your lane. Don't look back to what kind of karma they're getting. You don't have to. Focus on you and your new beginning and this wheel of fortune and plan that beautiful life. It's your turn. If you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Become a new Mooney. Yay. <laughs> and until next time, Collective, know that I love you. Um, and take care of you and peace out.